People who don't work at the company you used to, what are some insider secrets you can share? Goodwill takes all of the high quality valuable donations and sends them to a warehouse where they get listed on their auction site and sold for ridiculous amounts of money. My job was researching and listing items. And there were certain items that no matter what got sent to us, like Pokemon for example. Or a game consoles. And worst of all emo, those water thick flossing things. Ew. It's more well known now. But back in 2016 when I was working there it always shocked people and I hardly ever saw anyone online discuss it. Best Buy forces their salespeople to be incredibly pushy with all their protection plans, credit cards, etc. Stores have a financial incentive to sell as many of these as possible and many managers will turn a blind eye to sketchy sales tactics if it means they can get corporate off their backs. I once worked with a salesperson who would literally trick elderly people to sign up for a credit card without them knowing and they didn't get fired. It took them saying a slur on the clock to get them fired. Worked at CarMax as a tech. They used to be all about quality. But now it's do the cheapest and fastest work and put it out in the lot. Seepage is not a leak. Have the vehicle looked at by another dealer if you purchase one. There is no quality left. It's quantity. And the only reason they have OSA techs is because MaxCare won't cover the cars without it. We are told to follow the CarMax standards when repairing vehicles. OSA is just for looks. The majority of refugee visa decisions are copy-pasted from prior decisions it saves time, as they are using template stories themselves. That in the vast majority of refugees are economic migrants and abuse the system for a quick buck. Oh, and 90 go back to their home country following gaining citizenship of Australia. Source me, after being a case officer for 10 years. When your health insurance denies a medical test or medication. They are counting on you and your doctor not fighting to get prior authorization. It's a giant time suck and everyone hates doing it. Often you can appeal and eventually get approval, but most people just give up and insurance companies know this. Lapine quotidians largely do not have functioning kitchens. It's a hot plate to boil eggs and then assembly line package deli meat sandwiches with a toaster oven in the back. People with the serving spoons for the various spreads and put them back in the communal jars on the tables all the time. Worked at a bike shop in high school. If a customer ordered a super expensive bike with all the bells and whistles, I can guarantee one of the employees myself included most likely took it for a 30-45 minute test ride after we were done assembling it. Maybe a dozen people will get this reference, but Tyson Motzinger was not a real person. Tyson Motzinger was an invention of the third largest college bookstore chain and was using Amazon's third-party market for textbook arbitrage. If you call USAA, 99 of the time you will not be speaking to an actual USAA employee, but a third-party contractor who has far less training than any USAA proper employee exception claims registers are always USAA employees. Worked at a hotel and if it was getting late and we had not sold rooms, we could sell them for as little as we wanted. You can make an offer. They were $200 rooms but you could get them for $30 at 10 p.m. TGI Friday's fresh sushi is opened from a can and put into a little piping bag and squirted onto your $15 fingernail size sushi, then set into a fridge the fresh fish for like almost a week. PetSmart treat savings and clearance are usually higher than the original price by quite a lot. Especially for Black Friday and after New Year's. They are highly money hungry especially a corporation. I worked in an orchard that would save all of the rotten wormy gross apples and make cider with them. I'd give that's a standard practice but it definitely grossed me and my co-workers out. That private equity fund is run by a bunch of 20-26 year olds who are playing with their parents money and are deeply unqualified to be investing in tech. In my past workshop we put used parts without telling the customer, scavenged from crashed cars. Luckily it doesn't exist anymore. We staff call centers not only based on expected calls but on the amount of time we expect you'll be willing to wait for an agent. Frito-Lay adds about 10 cents to the cost of the bag one year and reduces the amount of chips in the bag by 10 the next year. I personally scrapped millions of dollars in high technology custom electric wheelchairs for hundreds of dollars of cash. Some companies like to lie about their labeling and description because it makes the product sound more prestigious. Lols. Bank they don't care about customers, they care about how many dollar and fees they can extract from customers. Fast food here. Don't be a jerk in the drive through unless you want some extra stuff on your burger. You didn't hear it from me but they don't have enough parking spaces to meet city code. When they say they don't stack rank anymore, they are definitely still stack ranking. At a car wash I worked at 20 years ago, we never towed dried white cars. Used to work at Best Buy. 
The Best Buy Best Boy Award voting is rigged. Land Survey Drafting Techs are de facto land surveyors, 